is Silver Tongue Games here, or Games with Chin, formerly known as. I am here to do an accessibility review for Hell Divers 2, which is on PlayStation 5 and PC. I am playing it on the PlayStation 5. So, let's get into it. So, you go down here to controller, and I will say the accessibility on this game is absolutely amazing. It's probably the best game I've ever seen in terms of accessibility. You can customize quite literally everything from the direct, what buttons do your movement you can set your movement to any button as far as i'm aware uh i have it set to legacy sticks which normally games do not allow you to create legacy sticks in game this game does however for those who are not aware of what legacy sticks are it's where one analog stick moves you forward and backwards and it turns your character on the same analog stick. And the other analog stick is up and down, looks up and down, and left and right would strafe. So instead of the analog sticks moving like your camera up, down, left, right, it makes it for people with disabilities, it makes it where you can have your character run forward, backwards, and turn so you don't have to navigate two analog sticks as much as you would in most shooter games. And I'll say that is so impressive because most games do not give you the customization options to customize moving and looking up and down. And that, to me, was a massive, massive improvement. And so we also got... Over here you go, so like for instance, Crouch. So one of the things that Helldivers 2 has done on many, many options is if you look on my screen, you can see that I have Crouch and Prone as the same button. Well, you can go over here to the side, and you can set it to do many different options. And a lot of buttons allow you to do this. So you can have one button have three, four, maybe even more different things they can do. You can like tap it, double tap it, hold it, long hold it. You can have one button do three or four different different functions. As someone who plays with his chin, quite literally, this is absolutely huge because it allows one button to have several different functions and i i wish more games would think about that i wish more companies would think about that for someone that has range of motion issues like i do uh that's just that's massive i mean i don't know what else to say that's just incredibly massive that it can do so much and it allows you to have more functionality with less amount of, I guess you could say, strain. Because you don't have to use as much of the controller as you would in most games. And for this game, this game is pretty challenging. So the fact that you can have that amount of customization, it really makes the game a lot more... I don't want to say easy, because the game is a challenging game. But it doesn't hold you back in terms of you can't reach a button. Because you can customize every single thing in the game. And that's something that I just, I really wish more companies would do and they would get behind. And like, one of the things that I had to learn uh, quickly was, so down here you have your stratagem list. So normally your stratagems, that's how you call down your airstrikes, your resupplies, um, many different things. That's how you call it down. And one of the things that I really, really like is 
you can set your stratagem to be a long press. Now, if you hold it down too long, it'll bring up your chat as well as your stratagem. You can just back out. But once you kind of get the timing down, you can just press it for a brief second longer than you would to bring up your map, and it'll bring up your stratagem list. Normally, it uses the D-pad, whereas you can see it'd be up, down, left, right. I have a problem using the D-pad since it's a little further away on the controller, so I mapped it to the face buttons, which up is triangle, down is X, left is square, and right is circle. But you you could map it to the analog stick, uh, but I've kind of discovered that it's a little harder to map it to either one of the analog sticks because it kind of interferes with some of the other input options. And even the face buttons kind of do to an extent as well. But you can kind of go in and tinker some of the options to where it won't interfere. But that's just... Uh, you just kind of have to play around with it and figure out what works best for you because the options are just... They're crazy. That's how many options there are. It's hard for me to really pinpoint one option that would work best for any one person because everyone's range of motion is different, you know, and I have arthrogryposis multiplex congenita, so, and I have more of the severe forms, so. The options that I have have worked out really well for me, but everyone is different. And then you go over here, and I have sprint to just tap, you just tap L3, he'll run. Uh, but I also have double tap to aim instead of L2. And that's been a, a lifesaver in this game. And then you can have... I have long hold. As my melee. So that's one button, again, with three different functions. And it, it really makes a big difference. It, it, it leaves other buttons open that you can change to do other functions to make the game again not easier but easier accessible wise um let's see i'm trying to think what else i could really say the game is just it's just so good it, the accessibility is so so amazing on everything that you can do i've just been so impressed with it and I I had to do a bit of tweaking at first but once you you get the hang of it it's it's just it's not hard honestly you know I guess if I had to um, I, I guess if I had to say anything about the game that I wish was different was the ability to have an analog stick control all of the menus like right now uh, in the menu, I have to use the D-pad. That's why I've been a little slower on some of the things that you've probably noticed. Because you can't use the analog stick to go down to different things. You have to use the D-pad. I kind of wish they could do something with that. Allow you to choose the, uh, the D-pad. Or not the D-pad. The, the analog stick. I think that would make it a lot easier, but... It's not necessarily a deal breaker, you know, and it's probably something down the road that it, if this video ever gets to them, it's probably something that they could do. Uh, but, you know, again, it's it's not like a it's not a big deal overall, you know, and maybe some of the menus when you get brought up like your emote. I don't think it's a toggle, so, okay, well, that didn't, okay, so, it might be a toggle feature, the emotes didn't pop up like I had it set, so, I'm not quite sure, but, for someone who plays with his chin, emotes are not, to me, the biggest, most important thing, and you can kind of set your buttons to many different features i haven't really tinkered with the emotes part because it's just not that important I, I like more of the gameplay elements and things like that and you can just 
I'll go back to it. But as you... Oh. Hold on one second. There we go. And as you, as you can see here, there's just... Anything that says, like, double tap, long press, long hold, press, double tap... You can just go over there and change the option to one of many, you know, tap, press, long... Well, I'll show you. So, you got double tap. Obviously, you just press the button twice. Triggers as soon as the button's been pushed. Triggers after a button has been pushed down for a set amount of time. Triggers continuously while a button is being held. Long hold after a button has been pushed down. And it... It just allows for, there's just so many options that you can do. It's just, it's crazy. I don't know what else to say. It's crazy in a good way. And I, I commend, I commend the dev team because they did an amazing job on that. And I hope, I really hope other game companies will take notes from Helldivers 2. The only other accessibility was God of War Ragnarok. They, their accessibility was also really good. But otherwise, yeah, yeah. I mean, as you see, there's just everything is just like, hey, double tap, tap, press. So I'm, I'm just impressed. That's all I could say. I've already said it, and I'll keep saying it. They, they've... They did such a good job, and I'm so happy, I guess is the word I'm looking for, because a lot of games are just so hard to play, because you can't, they're not accessible, or you can play them, but you can't keep up with all the players, because some functions of the game are just not available to me, and so I can play it, but I'm not as good, and with this game... While I'm not as good as some players, I feel I can keep up for the most part. And that's saying something because this game is incredibly challenging. And I love it. It's become probably my new favorite multiplayer game. And so I just want to give a massive shout out to Helldivers 2 for doing just a phenomenal job with accessibility. And I just I can't give them enough love and praise not just for accessibility, but for also uh, the just the game itself. The gameplay is smooth. The game is is great. It's such a wonderful time, especially when you have friends and you're playing in a whole crew. There's so many laughs, and even when you get team killed, it's really not frustrating like you would think it would be. It's just a good time, and you can pick up and play it with ease. The game has over-the-top humor and is funny. I just can't commend it enough. If if you got a PC or a PlayStation 5, I highly recommend this game. I mean, absolutely highly recommend this game. And I think that's it. So I appreciate anyone who watches this. I hope this accessibility review has helped you or will help you. And with that being said, in the immortal words of Bill and Ted, please be excellent to each other.